So we're going to carry out a, a rectal in a dairy cow when we're inseminating her and when we carry out our pregnancy diagnosis. It's a very stressful procedure for the cow because it's not a normal thing that occurs. And as you can imagine, it's also very, very uncomfortable. So what we need to do is we need to be gentle in how we approach this procedure. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a glove. And we use this glove for two reasons. The first reason is this glove helps to protect the cow from our fingernails. And also the glove protects us from any fecal contamination in the cow. It's really important that we use lubrication before we do our rectal examination. So what I'm doing here is I have some washing up liquid and I'm just going to make this nice and soft and then I'm just going to gently hold the cow and I'm gently going to start putting my hand into her rectum. If at any stage the cow is straining, I'm going to stop because it's really important to be gentle. And lots and lots of lubrication is really important. If you do it correctly, the cow is not going to be upset, but if you are rough, that cow is going to really resist this procedure. So I now have my hand in the rectum, and so I could carry out an artificial insemination, or I could do a pregnancy check. So what I'm not going to do is, I'm not going to distress the cow any further, I'm going to take my hand gently out of the rectum and I'm going to throw my glove away. When we're doing our pregnancy diagnosis, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find evidence of a pregnancy. So if we take our cow here, what we have is we have the pelvic bone here, which is underneath. My hand goes in here in the rectum and this is the backbone. And when the cow isn't pregnant, what we have is a relatively small uterus. When the cow becomes pregnant, the uterus starts to grow with the baby calf. And what we see is round about 90 days, the uterus increases in size, and what we have are these small cotyledons, which they feel like very small buttons. So as you gently move your hand over the uterus, what you feel are these small little floating buttons. And the floating buttons are the membranes that attach to the calf and are the blood supply to the calf throughout pregnancy. As we go on in pregnancy, and we get to around about four to five months, what happens is the calf is getting bigger, and the calf is actually dropping down into the abdomen down here. So you have to move your hand further in, and as you do, you can often feel the tip of a foot or part of the calf's head. Around about six months, the calf drops the whole way down to the bottom underneath the rumen. When it's underneath the rumen, it's actually very difficult to palpate or feel. You can feel the uterus has disappeared, but often you won't actually be able to feel the calf. And then for the last months of pregnancy, what happens is as the calf gets bigger, it grows back up and it becomes very easy to feel the feet and the head of the calf. So pregnancy diagnosis is a very skilled task. And what we need to do is, with pregnancy diagnosis, we're looking to confirm pregnancy, but what we're really trying to do is also confirm if an animal isn't pregnant, then we need to take steps to get that animal pregnant again. So it's really important that we get this correct. So remember, with your rectal examinations, be gentle. Be kind and be patient. Use lots of lubrication. Take your time and think of the cow when you're carrying out your rectal examination.